So what we're doing is we're doing a left elbow arthroscopy on a 46-year-old gentleman. And what I've done is the patient is lying uh, flat face down. This is the left side. Uh, I'm marking off some landmarks, the lecanon, the ulnar nerve, the medial epicondyle, and then the, 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 the uh, soft spot. and the radio got the okay. okay. First we're going to insulate the joint and then it's the same. Now we're establishing our, our uh, lateral portal, anterior lateral portal. We're going to jump into the cannula. Now you can see on the screen that we're inside the, the joint. So now we're going to take a look. Okay, you can see the loose body that it has in there. I can see it right away. We're going to be going after that in a few minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to establish our portal on this side. Okay, and you have a spinal injury. Oh, I'm sorry, just regular needle. No more fluid for injection right now. Uh, Uh, no needles. Ten reset.
Once my two portals are established, I can evaluate the joint. My goal is to shave down spurs, find all the loose bodies, and address the tight capsule. This picture shows the spur formation in the front and in the back, and some loose bodies. I cannot overemphasize the importance of getting a CT scan in this patient group. An MRI will not show loose bodies. Uh, X-rays sometimes do. If the clinical suspicion is there, that is, catching, locking, get a CT scan. Loose bodies not only cause catching and locking, but they can also destroy a joint. For this reason, it's important to get a CT scan to identify them all and then uh, find them during surgery. Spurs typically cause a painful motion, especially anterior spurs, which can cause pain with full flexion. Here I'm showing removal of a spur with a burr and in this picture, you can see an x-ray which shows a before and after of spur shaving. Doing a capsular release in these uh, patients is very important. Uh, loss of extension is usually what brings the patient in for evaluation. This can be addressed with a capsular release. The capsular release has to be done very carefully to avoid injury to the surrounding neurological structures. To summarize, the MMA cauliflower elbow is a term I use to describe a degenerative condition which includes spur formation, loose bodies, and a tight capsule. Very commonly seen in high-level fighters. The reason why I chose the word cauliflower to describe this condition seen in mixed martial artists is because all the uh, patients whom I've treated uh, with this condition have cauliflower ears. It's a sign of their many years of practice of this sport and just like cauliflower ears, when it's very bad, the best treatment is surgery. I hope this information helped. Please let me know if I can be of service. Thank you.